What's up guys, I'm Black Ops Amazing and welcome to another GTA 5 video on my channel. So today guys, I'm going to be talking about the Mammoth Hydra coming to the Pilot School DLC for the 1.16 update in GTA 5 Online. If you do go on to enjoy the video guys, by the end, all you ask from me is that you leave a like rating. If you want to see some more content like this up on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on screen now. All below the video guys, thank you very much for watching and enjoy. So first off, this information was found by Chrome X Mods. If you want to check it out for yourself, I will leave the link down in the description. So we have now found out that the Mammoth Hydra, the Hydra from San Andreas, will be returning to GTA 5 within the Pilot School DLC. If you don't know what the Hydra is, I'll put a picture of it up on screen. Now this is the one from San Andreas, and there is also a version of it that was spotted in one of the very first trailers of GTA 5. Again, an image will be up on screen, but it's finally returning to GTA 5 within this DLC and will cost 1.7 million which is absolutely awesome. We then have the Western Besra. I've already gone through these vehicles before but we now have the price for this which will be 1,985,000. And then we have the Invetro Conquetti 2 or the Conquetti Classic which will be 665,000 and we know that one is a car. You can get it in a topless or hard top version. We also have the information of where the military jet and the Besserit jet will spawn, which is in the hangars and at Trevor's airfield. And we also have the colours of what the Buckingham military jet will be. These are the default colours of this plane. So for the primary colours, it will be worn white and worn black. And for the secondary colour, you will have a metallic stone silver. Chrome X Mods also said that the Hydra could possibly be a two-seater jet, so a two-player jet would be absolutely awesome. I'd really love that. This is actually because the game actually checks whether you're in the seat of the jet or not, and this doesn't happen with any other aircraft. This doesn't happen with any other aircraft. It normally just checks whether you're in the vehicle or not, but this time it actually checks whether you're in the seat, so it could possibly be that the uh, Hydra is a two-seater. And also, I'm sure we already know this, but the Hydra will have a hover mode and it would also have a vertical takeoff mode. So the Hydra is actually vertical takeoff. I think you may also just be able to take off like a normal jet as well down a runway, but that means you don't really need a runway for this jet and you could just stand still or keep it hovering in the sky. And I think this could definitely work with two players. You could have one person flying one person on a gun on a remote a little mini machine gun on the remote of the jet and uh, whilst you're in hover mode that means it's really easy for the person in the gun to actually shoot so i think them two things together could definitely work but yes the hydra will have vertical takeoff and hover mode as well so that's all for this video guys thank you all very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed if you have please make sure you drop me a like rating that i'd very much appreciate it guys if you want to see some more content like this up on my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button on screen now or below the video guys thank you all very much for watching be sure to follow me on twitter links are down in the description for some awesome giveaways over there very soon thank you for watching until next time peace out